Good morning. Good morning. Are you Teresa Bradley? Yes, I am. All right, very good. This is Judge Middleton. You're in the right place. Great. We have about one minute until we're set to begin. I saw that you practiced logging in. I appreciate that. Yes, I've never done it this before, well, and I'm not very good at this stuff. One minute before it starts, but you're doing fine. I can see you and hear you, and your microphone is turned on. And uh, Zoom wasn't a thing till a few years ago. Now it's ubiquitous. Yeah. Very nice. I just worked all night um, and just just got home. So it's nice to be able to do it in, you know, in your own home. Yes, that is the upside of it. There are some downsides, but uh, you won't have to drive to Centerville and we can take care of our business here. Yes. Uh, which is a bit odd. And, all right. It is 830. I'm going to call this case. Okay. Saddle Teresa Bradley versus Jessica Beal. Apartment A and Apartment B. Is this a duplex? Yes, it is. Uh, there is no lease. Is she related to you? She's my daughter and my four grandchildren also live there. It's a two bedroom. Said. Okay. It's a two bedroom. So it's very small for a mom and four children. She's actually in my kitchen um, on her phone. Oh, good. I didn't right. know if I was in the right room. I'm going to go home. All right. Okay. Are you Jessica, Jessica Beal? I am. Sorry, my Zoom isn't working on my mobile device. All right. We'll make it work. You're the other Jessica Beal. It's spelled B-E-A-L. Um, yeah. This is a That's termination of tenancy case that the landlord, who's your mother, wants you to move. So I'm going to take a minute and tell you what your rights are as a tenant. I have to do this in each case, and um, which is all right. As a defendant in a termination of tenancy case, you have the following legal rights. You have the right to obtain representation, meaning counsel for this matter. If you cannot afford an attorney, a legal aid attorney may be available to help you, and she should be joining us here shortly. There is no court appointed counsel in civil cases like landlord tenant. You have a right to a trial by a jury or by the court. If you do demand a jury trial, you have to do it today or do it within five days in writing and pay the jury demand fee of $50 unless the judge waives it. You have a right to have your case heard here in St. Joseph County where the property is. Uh, this is not about paying rent, this is about moving. If you're able to reach an agreement with your landlord, the meaning the case would be dismissed, we could help you prepare a conditional order of dismissal. And if both parties are interested, we could refer the matter to mediation for an attempt to settlement. This is a family situation. I've had a number of these lately. I've probably had 25 or more of these this year where grandmother, grandson, father, son, brother, brother, uh, there's no lease, they're living there and the other party wants their property back. So Ms. Bradley, you're simply requesting that she move? That's correct. And she's actually just found housing um, has come available. So that was a question that I also had. I don't wanna mess up her ability to get this three bedroom apartment that is coming up. But should that fall through, I just wanted to, I didn't know what um, what I should do. I So that's why I was trying to do it this way. Just um, so there is that as well. So I think that right, well, we are getting somewhere. Where's the apartment, Miss Beal? It's a very hard to find. And uh, very there's hard a waiting list at Enchanted Glen and other places. Well, here's the story here. The law requires that I adjourn this at least seven days, which would take us to next Friday, the 25th of October. Then you get 10 more days after that, which would take it to November 4th. So uh, if you move, she can simply dismiss the case. But I think our safest bet for now is to adjourn this matter for one week. Yeah, yeah. because I don't have, they have not 
they've only verbally promised me the apartment. I've been on this waiting list for one year. I have been desperately working to build a business while also living with chronic illness as a single mom of four children. And I am doing everything that I can do. There is no housing available. There is no way that I can go and work for someone else when I can charge $300 online as a best-selling author and a publisher and a life coach and a business strategist. But building a business takes time, and my mom is frustrated with that. I have given her money, copious thousands of dollars anytime that I have money. So I'm not in a hurry to move out. I'm fine with taking this to trial. I'm fine with buying as much time as I have to to protect my children and I until I can find safe and affordable housing for my, myself and my family. Because the other option is that I'm living in my car. Yes. And that's often the problem. Uh, the parents or grandparents or siblings aren't required to provide free housing to their kids. It's often a tough situation. Sometimes the, the family, they want to sell the house and they need to get the people out of there. And that's what this landlord tenant is called summary proceedings is about. Basically, it's the judge forces you to move out or the sheriff will do it. But I do feel your pain. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Let's just have a seat. Uh, every week, twice a week, Monday and Friday, people tell me I would move out if I had somewhere to go to. Um, right. It's particularly if you don't have any money. Um, so yes. the first thing we're going to do is we're going to continue this to next Friday, uh, Ms. Bradley, the law requires this. It didn't used to, but when COVID hit, they changed all the rules. So you have to grant one, at least seven day adjournment. So I'm gonna continue this to October 25th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Okay. For the second hearing. At that time, Ms. Beal, I would have to give you at least 10 days to move uh, and if you didn't move by that date, then the sheriff could come put you out. That's if your mother got what she asked for. Let me ask a couple of questions. Yes. Is this a duplex? Yes. Who's paying the utilities? I am. <clears throat> well, actually, I'm paying the utilities, and then the utilities on her side weren't paid for and the water pump is in on my that name side. so, so i so they were in my name though all right so but so and then i put so, it in my name so they're both in my name and right now she currently told but me i've still been paying for it. it just just a minute just a minute okay. only one person can talk at a time um so teresa you're paying the utilities yes no is, is mom that's a pay? lie you have never paid right. my utilities in three years Jessica, I'm paying my right, utilities. Stop, Mom, stop, you're lying. stop, 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 stop. I'm embarrassed for both of you. Jessica, you're going to need to move out of your mother's house. That's just as way it is going I know. To be. I know. So I don't have I'm a paying my utilities. I have proof that I'm paying my utilities. Well, this is not about payment. It's about termination of tenancy. There is no lease. And the plaintiff gave you a notice to quit quite some time ago, back in July, saying that they wanted the property back. And they gave you until August and you didn't move and then they filed this action. So this didn't just sneak up on everybody. It's been in the offing for a number of months. And th this Well, you process... asked me paying utilities and she just lied. All right, well, all right. And I have I don't... proof that I'm paying my utilities. All right, why don't you bring that with you next week? Um, Absolutely. All right. At any rate, I guess I don't need to step on any more landmines. Uh, we're just going to deal with this next Friday, October 25th at 10 a.m. And at that point, unless there's some other defense or something I don't know about, uh, Miss Beale, you're going to have 10 days from that day to move. So we'll discuss this further next Friday. All right. Thank you. Thank you.